Hi guys and welcome to TechTeamGB. This is uh, an unexpected update. I was looking to do an update on the desk PC uh, project in sometime around March where I was going to basically redo the entire uh, case part uh, and also switch out the motherboard CPU and potentially the graphics card, although that one is very much up in the air. Um, but the, the problem is that my editing PC uh, died. Um, I, I don't entirely know why. It started about a month ago where I pressed the power button and nothing would happen. It wouldn't post, it wouldn't, uh, you know, the, the LEDs, the fans, nothing would turn on. Uh, I, do, I did the, power uh, the uh, paperclip test for the power supply and the power supply works just fine. I tried uh, switching around the power switches for the reset switch uh, to make sure that it wasn't the case, uh, you know, having a fit um, and that uh, didn't work. I tried using the power buttons on the motherboard, that didn't work. I tried using a screwdriver to jump the power, uh, power connections, that still didn't work. So. Uh, my guess and only assumption is that it's the motherboard and uh, I'm not entirely sure exactly what, but obviously with my editing PC being the Coolmaster project I did, it's uh, hard pipe water cooled, which means it's very difficult to get in and maintain anything without draining it. So uh, I will be uh, probably uh, you know looking at what's wrong with it in this video, uh, if not perhaps another one next year. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it's just uh, it's very annoying. Uh, basically, what I've done is uh, taken the two terabyte editing uh, hard drive out of that PC, uh, and I'm putting it into the desk PC. I'm also doing a little bit of a changeover with the CPU cooler. Uh, the one that I was using uh, was a little bit loud, and there was quite uh, an annoying noise that came from the pump. So I've, uh, I'm going to be switching it out with a uh, a different Coolmaster CPU cooler, uh, and I'm also going to be using a Corsair ML series fan just to give some extra unrestricted airflow uh, and hopefully that will do a good job in quieting the PC down and also uh, decreasing the overall temperatures of the GPU specifically uh, and hopefully giving some uh, a relatively good amount of airflow inside the case or inside the, the table. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, let's just get on with it. So as you can see, I've added a Corsair ML Series 120 fan as well as a Neptune 120XL. This has actually been a really great option as there's now better airflow over the motherboard and to the GPU while still keeping the CPU nice and cool. I've also added my 2TB editing hard drive in and created a separate Windows profile for editing so that I can still have a nice sort of separated workspace while uh, you know maintaining a uh, easy usage. Now, thanks to my partner helping me to get it up, <laughs> uh, we were able to attach the box to the desk relatively easily, although it is always just more difficult than we can ever expect, so perhaps I might think of a better way to do this in the future. Otherwise, I do actually really like the styling, it's also decently quiet, and I've saved about 5 degrees on the GPU temperature, which is awesome, while still keeping the CPU temperature nice and low. Now the next uh, tr issue, the next thing to, to trouble myself over was draining the loop. This was a, a very tedious process as I didn't actually design this loop all that well. There's no fill port or drain port in this hardline system. So it was, uh, well, quite a pain, and I also forgot that, well, physics existed uh, and, and gravity, so uh, that was a pain, uh, which meant that a lot of fluid went everywhere, but happily I've removed everything else other than the, you know, water-cooled components, uh, so I was finally able to get it out, and for the uh, extra fluid left in the CPU cooler in the, uh, that area, I just removed the motherboard to uh, sort of alleviate that. Otherwise, I took off the CPU block, cleaned up the uh, CPU, 
and then uh, mostly spent the time wondering how I managed to screw on the pump. Uh, I actually had to use some ingenuity and use a uh, ratchet thing spanner uh, to be able to remove it from the the case itself. But uh, yeah, I also took the, the motherboard apart to, to try and see what's wrong. And as I'll explain in a second, uh, I just couldn't find anything. There was a few weird bits, but nothing that looks like it let the magic smoke out. So as you can see, this is now a non-custom water-cooled PC. We do still have the uh, Corsair H100 Ion here, but uh, it, it actually it works now. It's a functioning PC uh, for some reason. I can't understand why. Uh, I took the sort of uh, plastic and metal shielding uh, off of the front and the back, and also took the uh, VRM heater, the power face heat sinks. Uh, off at the top uh, and the inductors look okay. Uh, there isn't anything that looks like it's let the magic smoke out. Uh, there are a couple things that look, uh, you know, sort of um, surface mount uh, or uh, non through hole uh, components that uh, look like they've been over soldered, uh, but then there's still uh, there's some sort of acrylic or uh, epoxy type glue that's been put on top so that uh, it, you know, they won't short as, as easily or whatever. So uh, yeah, it's a, it's a weird thing. Um, it does seem to work now. We'll obviously be keeping an eye on it. Uh, the only other thing that I could even potentially think is wrong with it is perhaps uh, the battery that keeps the uh, clock going on the BIOS, but again, I don't necessarily understand why that would stop the power buttons working. So yeah, it's a, a very weird one. Hopefully uh, this uh, carries on working now. It's gonna be my uh, sort of testing PC, so I need to test graphics cards. SSDs, even stuff like software and driver releases, that's what I'll be uh, using this one for. And then I've got the other uh, Fantex case for new CPUs, potentially CPU coolers in this one or in that one, I'm not too sure yet. But uh, either way, that's, uh, that's what's going on. It's currently working, it's just annoying that it decided to break in the first place and nothing seems to be wrong with it. So. Uh, yeah, I suppose that's just life, isn't it? Yeah, I guess that's kind of that, really. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you found it uh, fun and informative and all that sort of stuff, feel free to subscribe and like. If you haven't checked out any of the other uh, Desk PC project videos, there is a full series on me uh, planning, building, uh, actually you know, putting the parts in, testing it and all that sort of stuff. So do check out, I'll leave a card up above for you to check that one out. And uh, other than that, uh, yeah, feel free to follow me on Facebook and Twitter as well. If you want to pick up any of the parts that I'm using uh, in this system, then please do use the Amazon or Overclockers UK affiliate uh, link in the comments down below. Which by the way, if you are buying anything on Amazon or Overclockers UK, please please use the affiliate links in the description down below it genuinely does help me out uh, and the more stuff you buy from people like overclockers the more they want to promote my videos so that just helps everyone out here so uh, yeah it doesn't uh, cost you anything either which is awesome and uh, yeah thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you all in the next video